Hey guys, JC, I'm here with uh, a new series called my Friday's blog, uh, blog, blog, whatever you call it. So I'm gonna start doing that every Friday if I can remember. Actually, I should. What I should do is do it every Thursday night and then uh, post it up on Friday. But uh, yeah, <laughs> didn't happen this time. So it's Friday night, as I think. Maybe it is Thursday. I don't know. Nope, it's Friday. Never mind. Okay, so what's been going on? Well, uh, I've been doing, trying to do the series on Ark, Scorched Earth, the new uh, update and uh, stuff on that game. I've been obsessed with that game for the last two weeks. I've been trying to start a couple of solo games where I can just play on it and just have fun and enjoy the game, but a damn game keeps borking on me. There. Uh, there's so something always goes wrong with it, and it's like the game is taunting me. It's like, oh, you want to play with that? Play with me and uh, enjoy my content, and I uh, go and tame a Jiganoto? Nope, you can't do it. I'm sorry, but I just borked on you. Now you have to reinstall the fucking game. <laughs> so that's what's been going on. The damn game has literally been literally been cock blocking me from enjoying it. So I just got done edit put editing editing to do together I cannot say the T sound for some reason. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've been editing together a little video of me trying to fucking correct a problem I've I've been having with the level script mod that I have for my solo games. And it is fucking frustrating. I have tried everything I know. Um, and especially one thing I know ha did work that I got to work last time in a previous game session that is not working now. Maybe it's because of they made some changes to the code or something in the Scorched Earth update. I don't know. But god damn, is it driving me nuts? So, that's. So, episode f four is about me trying to fix a, a little stupid problem. And if I can't fix it, then I'm moving on. I'm not playing that game anymore. I'm just deleting it, and I'm moving on. Because it's one thing to, you know, chase, you know, chase the, uh, what, what's the fucking saying? I can't, I can't think tonight. <sighs> one thing to chase something that you know you'll never catch, but keep doing it anyway. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to uninstall it and move on. I'm not going to play ARK anymore. I'm just gonna move on and do something else. I'm not gonna waste my fucking time with this bullshit. So, you know, every it's like every update or something, the game goes wrong, and I have to start all over again. And I hate doing that because what I'm trying to do is, you know, have an in-game uh, session where I have uh, the ability to, you know, craft all the guns and, and rocket launchers and play with those. I haven't played with any of the firearms yet except if I use like the console commands and you know use the cheat codes and bring them in you know their ID codes and, and put them in my inventory that that's you know that's the only way I can do it I have not crafted my own anything in that regard I have not ha tamed a Jiganoto which I really want to do I have not Owned really very many dinosaurs. My dossier is really sparse. <laughs> it's fucked up. This game is driving me insane. I want to enjoy it. I want to play it. And I want to explore, explore all this content, but it won't let me. <sighs> so, you know, if if a mad scientist could. You know, somehow take this game and turn it into a real living person. I would strangle the fucking life out of it in frustration and anger, and then set its fucking dead body on fire and then piss on it. It has frustrated me that much. God damn. Ugh, seriously. What the fuck? So, what else? Um. I've been getting a lot of weird uh, comments about my uh, my uh, 
unboxing video on my GAC cookery and <laughs> and how hard it was for me to open the fucking box with my knife. And I, like, literally every other comment I get is about how uh, hard it was for me to open the box. Well, oh, God, that is just so stupid. Come on, guys. The whole point is not about that. It was about enjoying the... the, the seeing the knife and hold it in my hands for the first time and stuff. Move the fuck on, really. It's, it's stupid. The problem I had was uh, I underestimated the strength of that fucking packing tape. I mean, that shit was kind of tough. And I didn't press on it hard enough and stuff. You know, I was like... <laughs> it was like literally one of the, like, the second unboxing video I think I did. I don't know. But anyway, I did have stumble on that part of the video. So, get over it. Move on. I'm sick of hearing about it. You guys are lucky I even posted the damn video to begin with, alright? So stop complaining. God damn, you guys are good at complaining, but are really hard at complimenting. Uh, it's so easy to complain and troll, but... Somehow so difficult for you people to even compliment and encourage, you know, it's weird. Society is going down the shitter. Alright, so, on BSI here, uh, one thing uh, that happened with it was, uh, the butt cap came off. I was just kind of tugging on it, just to see how well it was, it was adhered to it, and it literally just pulled right off. So I had to get a bottle of Gorilla Glue and glue it back on. And what I didn't read in the instructions, which I should have, was that it you know, Gorilla Glue uh, expands as it dries, and it leaked up and out and all over the leather and all over the thing so as you can see it's a bit dirty it's, a, it's got a bit of a mess I gotta clean up so what I did is I went online and ordered saddle soap kiwi saddle soap and uh, some other brand of mink oil because uh, the kiwi and uh, another brand that was top leading the, the reviews on it said that it was made of silicone it didn't have real mink oil in it uh, which you need for leather apparently because it's the top main ingredient whatever the, whatever the hell it is uh, to uh, really treat leather with and to you know rejuvenate it and keep it from uh, getting stiff and cracking so I went and got that and it's in the mail now I'm going to hopefully treat, clean it up with a saddle soap because also I went and cleaned the rest off uh, these uh, metal p pins or rivets, whatever, whatever they are. And if you can see in the light, I don't know, uh, it came off onto the leather and stained it or something, and I can't clean it off. And I can't hide it with uh, my, my normal shoe polish or boot polish. So I gotta figure out how to clean it up. So, also, um, I got it good and sharp. I took the. Uh, my uh, puck sharpener to it, so it's good and sharp. I don't know if you can see the uh, the color difference in the uh, texture on the blade there, but yeah, I got it good and sharp, and it's ready for camping. It's ready for daily use. Um, I would like to polish it back up because it does, you know, it's all scratched up really. <laughs> so I like to find something um, that would. Uh, polish it back up and but keep it sharp and I saw something about a po ceramic polishing stone that one guy used on his knives when he was on that show uh, alone that survival show and he used that to uh, keep his knife sharp but I can't find them online I don't know what they're really called I, I just remember him just talking about it in one of his videos one night when I just stumbled upon his channel and that video on uh, how he took care of his knives in that show and it looked like a really good stone he showed it to me it came in a leather, leather, little leather pouch and I really want that fucker I can't find it anywhere so I, mean, I don't know um, maybe you guys can uh, suggest something else um, 
you know, just a little simple stone that's a really, really fine grain, and I'll sharpen my edge at the same time as keeping it clean and just polishing all the scratches out of it. That, that's what I would like, like to see. So maybe you guys out there can uh, help me find that. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. I need a moment to think. All right. I don't know if you guys, I've, if I've ever said this before, but uh, my monitor, my 10-year-old monitor that I've been gaming on for the last 10 years, finally burnt out and I had to buy a new one. It cost $300 and it's it's nice. It's actually two inches wider than my old one. It's an Asus brand. It's got 3D vision cap capability, capability, and it's really nice. And I don't know much about it. <laughs> got the, I got this, get the stuff here for it. <laughs> BFP memory notice. Okay. So that's basically what it looks like. <laughs> Um, so it's a really nice monitor, and the story is, you know, I went to Best Buy, because it was really the first place we went to, and I really didn't know where else to go for a monitor, for a gaming monitor, anyway, and, um, yeah, and I, sorry if I already said this before in another video, but, um, you know, I, I only expected to really shell out maybe $150, $160 for a new monitor, because I thought by now... Uh, most monitors will be gaming capable, but apparently everything under $200 was really for office shit, like uh, Microsoft Office programs and stuff. They weren't really designed for gaming and stuff, so... But the only thing they had was just this monitor for about $295 and some change and stuff, so... I just ended up buying it because I just didn't want to shop around. I don't want to go to three different fucking stores all over the city and all that. So I just settled on this fucker. And so far, it is wonderful. I'm enjoying it. Uh, so yeah, got a new monitor. So pretty much the monitor was the last thing remaining from my old first computer. And... Now everything is replaced. I got a new mouse, proper left-handed mouse. You know, right here. If I can get into camera range. This fucker right here. It's an actual left-handed mouse, as you can see. You know. So I have to relearn which <laughs> which fingers to use again. <laughs> Sometimes I get it wrong. So, and also my wonderful keyboard, which glows. <laughs> it's fucking backlit. I love this thing. You know, it's only 20 bucks, so if I break it, you know, I don't care. <laughs> but I will take care of it because I like it. I've never had a keyboard this cool before. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a Maison. Whatever the hell you, however the hell you say that word. Maison. Maisoni. I don't know. I'm really bad at trying to pronounce foreign words. Ugh, God help me with people's names. So yeah, I got that. And I did a video on that briefly, just out of excitement. An ex excuse for content. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, tower, all original. I just blew it out too. Uh, about a few days ago, I took it outside and I pretty much emptied an entire can of air into it. And... Uh, just give it a good dusting and clean it up real nice and stuff because for a while I was having uh, performance issues and uh, so I took it out and blew it out and it was very 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 dusty so uh, yeah um, she seems to be working better she won't run as cooler so far I haven't heard the fans wind up that much as it used to so alright be back in a bit I need a break Hmm. One thing I just thought of, I've been wanting to do a little mini game seri series on uh, uh, my adventures in uh, Star Trek Online, and I've finally gotten to an a point where I'm doing missions where, that I do not remember doing before, because I have played the game on and off before, I have leveled up a, a, a Starfleet officer before, 
and um, I'm finally getting to a point where I I'm seeing content that I don't recognize and uh, I haven't really played it all that much because I've been addicted to ARK for the last three weeks trying to get games sessions going on and I really play with it and enjoy it and uh, get all the dinos and, and everything and, and just really really love the really enjoy the and, and uh, explore the game but it won't fucking let me because of everything I just said <laughs> so uh, yeah um, also, there's been a big update with some Subnautica, but I'm not going to really do any videos of that anymore. It's going to be a personal game where I'm just going to fuck around with it. Um, so, you can find all kinds of videos on that all over the YouTube. So, if you want, you, can, you know, you can just do that yourself. Um, War Thunder. I got a premium account for it this month, but I haven't played it at all, really. Because I've been so addicted to uh, Ark Scorched Earth. So, and I kind of do miss the uh, gratuitous War Thunder video series, so I, I should work on that. But um, at the same time, I've been having so much trouble trying to get the volume levels right in that game so you can hear me talk during combat. I just can't figure it out. You know, as soon as guns go uh, go blazing and combat starts, you you can't hear me talk over it. I don't know what's going on with that game, but it's it's made strangely like that. The audio in the game is just weird. I can't figure out a fix for it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just learn to shut up <laughs> during shooting or something. <laughs> I don't know. But I love that game. I love this going in there and just gratuitously just fucking around, blowing shit up, driving cool ass tanks and shit. Um, I used to do the plain stuff, but uh, there, somewhere down the line there was an update and all of a sudden my planes wobble no matter what I do. If I even fart, the planes wobble. I cannot shoot anything. You know, I can't keep a bead on anything. My planes are always wobbling. They're always just wobbling. Wherever I go, they're just wobbling. I can't fly in a fucking straight line. I can't shoot in a straight line. It's going everywhere. So I gave up flying planes and went, went, to take, went, to, went straight to tanks as soon as they came out. Sorry. So, yeah, I haven't touched my the plane section of the game since the tanks came out. Because of that fucking wobbling that I cannot fix. So, yeah. Uh, I would like to go back to uh, Elite Dangerous because I've been trying to grind to get to was it one billion or something so I can afford the biggest uh, hauler spaceship. Uh, I forget what it was called, but it's a, the biggest one. And uh, on that one, I can average a million a million credits or whatever the, the game, game currency is, uh, pretty much per haul. And then I can be able to use that as my money maker to. Uh, afford everything else, but it has been such a fucking grind that I it just burnt me out. I got halfway there, I got to about to 50 million or something, and then I just burnt out on it. And I haven't touched a game in a fucking year, almost. And I just gave out on it. So now that I'm rested, I could probably come back to it and check it out again. Uh, so yeah, I might do that. If you guys want to see me go back to Elite Dangerous, let me know. I I, I would like to do to do that. So, what else? American Truck Simulator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. If you guys want to see me play that game again, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll do more videos on that. I'll do vlogs <laughs> if you guys want me to. In it, it's a fun game. I enjoy it. It's just nice and relaxing. I like to drive really long distances. And just listen to podcasts and shit. Uh, it's, it's fun. I love it. <laughs> uh, so, um, as you guys know, I've been trying to branch out from just dumb game gaming videos and uh, incorporate more of what I do in my life into my YouTube channel and just kind of chronic chronicle uh, what I do. Uh, you know, of anything that's uh, interesting. You know, make a good video and uh, well I won't 
one thing we've been trying to do this year is get back into camping and do more outdoorsy stuff and all that. And uh, we got out once as a test, kind of um, getting you know getting back into the game with camping and stuff. And uh, we haven't been able to do it since because we every summer every summer we get stuck fixing cars. We have like five cars, and every summer we have to fix all of them. And for the whole summer, we're usually just stuck underneath cars, fixing cars, and I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. It's eating up our summers. It has been eating up our summers ever since we moved up here. We haven't had any real opportunity to do any serious camping. And it's so aggravating. So uh, we're trying to... Uh, uh, get in another camping trip before uh, before it's too cold. So we're gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna take the camera with me, and uh, I'm gonna try and chron chronicle it and make it interesting or whatever. And just uh, yeah. Also, um, our boat. Uh, we're gonna take that out one last time before we sell it and make sure it's up and running and sellable. So I'll try and chronicle that if I can remember to, and uh, we'll do do a fishing trips of some kind here uh, shortly uh, within this month for sure <laughs> and uh, I'll try and try and chronicle that too and I get that up uh, up and going um, but um, we're not gonna do anything else camping wise for the rest of the year it's I'm still trying to accumulate gear and, and stuff I barely got any decent gear going because of uh, my um, room re re renovation that was kind of forced on me it was it's like either now the, at this time, point in time and this year or never so I decided fuck it let's do it let's get it over with so I can have the money uh, for gear shit later so uh, so the room renovation uh, kind of st just stalled everything that I wanted to do with my life until next year so, uh, so yeah, that's about what all that's going on that I can think of, really. So, uh, yeah. So um, I'm gonna end, end it with that. So I'll see you guys next Friday with another vlog. Hopefully, something interesting and cool happened by then. And uh, like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.